Hey guys, it's Corey, and in this video, I'm gonna go over how I got my 30 badges. So, I'm gonna go over the concept and just the overall how I got it. And this is a picture of my badges, and this is a little clip of what I did with those. So, let's get into it later. Okay, so you're gonna want to go into my career and you're gonna start playing the games. You either need a bad team or you gotta go against bad teams. And when I mean bad, I mean by teams that don't have the high capacity to keep on shooting and make every single shot. So you're going to need a lot of your players or the opposite team to miss. And if they do miss, that means more rebounds for you. And our main objective in these games is to get a bunch of rebounds. So the first badge that you're going to want to max out is obviously Rebound Chaser. You gotta max out rebound chasers so that you can get a higher chance of rebounds and the first setting that you should change is the setting for difficulty. It's always set on pro for your matches and games but the reason why you should change it to hall of fame is the following. You get a 1.6% higher chance of getting more VC with that meaning you get a 1.6 times of your VC that you would get in the game. So instead of getting the normal game, you would get the 1 point times 6. And another thing is a benefit is the badge points. Your badge points will double or even triple based on how you play that game. So if you get 20 rebounds, it will count as if you got 30 rebounds or even 40. So with this, it is more likely that or more benefit to your game that you do Hall of Fame instead of pro because of the benefits so now that you have this information you know you need to go against a bad team and have a bad team for shooting and you need hall of fame rebound chaser and with that hope you the best on your my career or your player build and peace out it's been Corey. later